Because we didn't just have to complete a murder. Well, what do you have to say to that? What? Are you broken again? You can't get out of this, so don't even try. Come on! It's time you finally revealed yourself! She just walks in the courtroom. It's not like you're an endangered species or something. How long do you plan to keep hiding? What the fuck? Give it up, Junko. The game's over. Oh. It's not quite over yet. We still have like an hour left. Did you really think the story would end once we reach the climax of the case? Wrong! There's still plenty more to go! Hey, Junko and Oshima. I called it. Hey, no. We have been waiting, waiting so very long for peasants like you to appear. That is not her voice. Please tell me this was a joke. Swear your fealty to us. We will reward you with half of the entire world. We've even drawn up the deed already. We will grant you honor, status, and some of our home cooking. Have you made your choice? Will you serve under us? So the guide what says happens? to say no thanks, but the same thing happens no matter what you say. She just mocks you if you say okay. I think the same thing happens. But I'm just gonna say no thanks, I don't care. Yeah, the guide says to say no thanks, oh. so say no thanks. Oh, so you're using a guide? What a wimp. Well, just to make sure, because I don't remember everything game. It's been a while since I played this fucking game. Serious? Sorry. I was just messing with you. And it was one of her voices. It's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. This is the mastermind? She's the real Junko Enoshima. Okay. Looks like I've finally been set free. Having to play Monokuma all the time. Day after day. Mood. It was like I was stuck in purgatory. Or like a slow suicide. I get bored so easy, you know? Nah. Monokuma's amazing, fuck off. Face, huh? What about my face? What's wrong with my beautiful face? People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. That'd be horrifying. I feel like this isn't the first time I've seen you. She's so monotone. I mean, well, in no, that voice, seeing, yes. I'm sure I've seen her too, somewhere. I got it. That's right. It was before I ever came to this school. I remember seeing a magazine cover. I mean, at the school you saw those magazine covers. You were on it. Wow, you have a pretty good memory. I guess that's why you've made it this far, huh? So I was right. Then what you told me in the main hall when this all began. Well. Sometimes a little lie is necessary to keep things moving along. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, it wasn't her who lied. No. She didn't quite to be fair. The same, because she was a different person all along. I'm me. And Mukuro is Mukuro. She tried her best. But there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. Two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. Not even if they're twins. Twins? I know. It's such a cliche, right? I'm almost embarrassed to admit it. So basically, Mukuro and I had your stereotypical twin relationship. Mm, I don't know about that one, Chief. Proud. That was Mukuro. Younger sister, smart and cute. That was... <laughs> Me! Junko fucking Anishima! Finally, that voice is actually getting on my nerves. We were the despair, sister. 
I mean, it'll come back. I think I'm fucking bored myself. myself. But if, if you're twins, why do you have different last names? Oh, that again? You have any idea how many times people ask me that shit? Maybe it's new to your dumb ass, but it forced me to tears. Answering the same questions over and over? Just make up whatever answer you want. I don't give a shit. The truth's fucking lame anyway. But if she was your twin, that means... You killed your own sister? And for reasons deeper and darker than the ocean. Ha! As if! Well, I suppose I'd better explain. Secretary now? More like sexy teacher. Oh. Eh, yeah, either one. I immediately went secretary because that's just what it reminds me of. But yeah, no, that works. Someone had to be able to control the killing game from behind the scenes. The so-called mastermind had to operate Monokuma, keep an eye on everyone, things like that. But after looking at the situation, I determined also, it would be impossible for Mukuro to perform oh, yeah. duties. Her outfit is changing along with her hair and everything, because so it's weird. Naturally, Great. She turned out to be the letdown of the family, leaving me behind to run off and join some band of mercenaries. Such a disappointment. So... I decided to play the role of director and have her join the rest of you in your school life. I could have let her work alongside me, but she would have been useless to me that way. <laughs> There's Kyoko pointing nonstop. Fifteen students seemed like a solid number to start with. Of course, the fact that she was the ultimate soldier posed something of a problem. She had what I call the three atrocities. Atrociously ranked, atrociously filthy, atrociously repulsive it was atrociously clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society meanwhile my ultimate fashionista status has an undeniable appeal that i didn't want to go to waste and that's why you switched identities sadly her inability to match my personality was even greater than i'd calculated it was a lost cause no one could match this kind of psychosis. She was nothing more than a bit player, an extra, unworthy of lines. Being the utter disappointment that she was, anyone would have expected her to get killed off right away. Which is precisely why I killed her. To meet everyone's expectations. That can't be your only reason, can it? Well, no, of course not. I also did it to avoid becoming bored. I've never been a stickler for following a plan to the letter, you know? I hate it. If I planned everything out and knew just what was gonna happen, that'd be so boring. So, I changed things just a bit and decided to use Mukuro to make a little point. In other words, Mukuro's death was a one-sided, premeditated act of betrayal. Just as I suspected. When Mukuro was killed, she must have been as surprised as anybody else. <laughs> so you figured it out? Well, you're right. There's no way Mukuro could have pulled off such a convincing performance. But she did teach you all a very valuable lesson, don't you think? How can you talk like that? Like, the voices. It's weird. Sacrificed your own sister. How does that not even bother you? What? I sacrificed her? That's what's got you so hot under the collar? Jeez. Misunderstanding sure are scary. We were the ultimate despair, you know? So we never had any kind of hope or expectations. Nope. I felt despair as long as I can remember. Like I never should have been born at all. When I was born, I mm -hmm. cried tears of total despair. So that's why for us, it's not a big deal whether we die or kill. We're just those kinds of people. We can do anything. We've always been filled with despair. So when we do something, we go all the way and live without regret. So you just murdered your own sister and didn't think anything of it? That's not true at all. We were twins. How could I not be sad? That's why it gets me so excited. Huh? Killing my precious sister with my own two hands. That act is filled with so much despair. You can't help but put a super in front of it. It's like 
Super, 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 super despair. No, more than that. Super, 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 super despair. It just feels so good. What the hell is wrong with you? And my sister, too. In that moment of death, I think she must have felt that despair. After all, to be murdered by your own sister, and only as an example to someone else, she must have died feeling such excruciating hopelessness. I'm so jealous of her. Super jealous. I knew you couldn't be just some ordinary person. You're some kind of abnormality. Turning your own despair into some kind of fetish. Abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. Toko is just doing that thing where it just kind of looks over to the side, you know what I mean? Yeah, the puppet. Like, yeah. Genocide Jill I'd also like to point out, by the way, that Toko and Junko are voiced by the same people. They both have two voice actresses. I assume one does, for Toko, one does Toko and the other one does Jack. For Junko, I don't really know. I... There, she has so many voices. One of the voice actors is a, Amanda Miller. Um, I love her. She's very funny. Uh, and I just think it's crazy. Because Amanda Miller, I think, does the most. Because Amanda She's Miller... crazy. Amanda Miller does Toko. But then I think she also does most of the Junko voices. Just by listening to it, I think only the secretary Junko is a different voice actor. I think. Not exactly positive. You're saying I but don't compare to some lowly beast that can only I think the rest of them are Amanda Miller. Right. Which is just so bonkers. That's so many voices to do. Hopelessly brilliant. Hopelessly athletic. I'm the hopelessly perfect ultimate human. No. I don't think there's anything perfect about anything you just said. Yeah. Master's way more perfect. Because on top of everything else, he's got that noble blood. Hmm. Don't you mean had that noble blood? Mm. What did you just say? What do you mean by that? <laughs> you still haven't figured that part out yet? Man, you guys are so slow! I drained you all dry months ago! You even solved all the mysteries, and yet here you are, yap yap yapping away! Are you talking about our memories? You've already solved this mystery, right? I'm the killer! So how about the next one? Okay, I actually like this voice. Yeah, it's just her impression of Monokuma. Then you can start floating. Damn straight. That's exactly I think this is all of her voices. We're going to I think that's all of them. And then Still it's a lot, it's like seven. <laughs> I can't wait. Mm. Right. Well I also think she has regular. Just like what a normal bitch. Which obviously means Mukuro is voiced by the same voice actor. I would imagine. Yeah. I got it. It must have something to do with our entrance exams. Don't care. At least give us a hint. Your brains are like sponges, all drippy and leaky. I already gave you a hint before. All the memories. Also, you can't see it, but I'm mouthing so many of these lines because I just know them by memory. Thinking back to what Monokuma has told us, the memories that were stolen from us and what they must be related to. Man. Also, so apparently in the Japanese version, Toko and Juko are voiced by only one person, and that is wild. Okay. Oh no, now I'm embarrassing myself. Oh no. Oh wait, I lied. Um... In the Japanese version, Toko and Junko are voiced by different people, but one person voices both of them, which is still wild. Um. Okay, he literally told us earlier. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but you were talking about the stuff. I have no idea what we're even actually picking about. <laughs> I, I literally lost the last, like, five lines of dialogue. Um. It's what our, what our missing memories are about. Yeah. You're talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? So you do remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. 
It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? A theme? Yep, you got it. So that's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? Um, human connections. Definitely was love triangle because there wasn't yeah. love there in international relations. Yeah, human connections. The first one. Driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Remember those DVDs I gave you guys? Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. For example, your family. For example, your friends. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. But still, what a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it! Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Okay, time for the next question! God. We went from bad, one bad to another bad. What was the theme for the second motive? Second motive. What was the second motive? The secret. The secret. Pass. It was our past, right? Yay! Makoto got it right again! That time, the theme was... Embarrassing memories and secrets! Yeah! <laughs> and the whole reason Mondo did what he did was to protect his secret. So, how long do you plan on dragging this out? Relax, relax! Okay, on to the next question! So, what was the motive for the third murder? Do you remember what the third okay, one was? Second, second was Chihiro, third was Celeste's, right? No. No, what was third? Oh, wait, yeah, Celeste. I thought you said Sakura. I don't know why. My brain was like, you said Sakura. Uh, greed. Yeah, it was just dead ass money. Just money. Yeah. It was money, wasn't it? Greed. Seek and destroy! Hell yeah, you got it again! This one should have been the previous one. Because this one had to do with Mondo. Shut up. Goddamn no, straight right. it was money! Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain! Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction! I mean, she wanted That's handsome men to dress like vampires. Why I get it, I get it. Through this case by case? <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Now, can you tell me the motive behind crazy-ass Sakura's crazy-ass death? Sakura was not crazy. Betrayal? At House on the Hill. I got it! Great game. In her case, okay. it was betrayal. Precisely. You see... Once I revealed Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway, it looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How painfully delightful. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal. Totally middle of the road. But of course, those aren't the only motives that exist in this world. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. They compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. This is what we refer to as the Seed of Despair. Seed of Despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the Seed of Despair also needs nourishment. And that nourishment is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. Two sides of the same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? 
If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. What I'm trying to say is, the seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. Uh, how so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course, that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway! Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. What are you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. That is why we took your memories, so that you would have the desire to leave. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Correct the mundo! Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not enough. I want more distress, more despair. Despair. So much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Eddie slashing his prices and passing the savings on to you, let me give you a hint. Really? Huh? Really? <sighs> That's how Junko Bito. Then hurry up and tell us. Okie dokie. Like they say, seeing is believing. I'd like for you to see the outside world. You mean the outside world? Beyond the school walls? You look out and sort of just the void and you realize the second floor of the dorms was open to the outside air. We're just in a void. Something really did happen out there. Now are you interested in what I have to say? You wanna see what's out there? <laughs> I wanna see too. See your faces sink into despair. <laughs> now then, open sesame! Behold! The world beyond the school walls! This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into. Ain't that a bad a bitch. Okay, the people wearing the Monokuma masks bashing things, yeah. Maybe even a giant sized Monokuma destroying a building or whatever. All the monuments across the planet being turned into Monokuma, that's bullshit. Because that would require a lot of fucking work. <laughs> and getting anyone to work together in that capacity is bullshit. I mean, that's what you think. Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense! What, what am I looking at? It's a very good question. From a movie or something, right? What you just saw, all of you should recognize it. We should recognize it? What a... What about it should we recognize? The whole thing is insane. Is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass, cause it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die. I don't remember. Ain't a fucking excuse no more. Cause now it's time for the final class try. Okay, well we finally get to do something after like 40 minutes of nothing. Genocide Jack's memory is probably correct, if not the locker notebooks. Come on, bitches! Remember You already used locker notebook. What the fuck happened outside? Oh wait, no you didn't. 
No, I haven't. I thought you had already. My bad. What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can remember anything. This is the end for all of us. What other choice do we have? Want us to remember when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us? I don't understand a damn thing. What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can remember anything. You got that wrong. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. Uh, you know. <laughs> it popped up after it already fired. <laughs> I mean, it was scrolling down and it just got there fast enough. Actually, well, no, I let go of my thing. It wasn't there when I actually pressed the button. Actually, she might remember. Who might remember? Who the fuck do you think? Genocide Jack. What? The two of them share certain kinds of knowledge, but their memories aren't linked, right? I see. If their memories are separate, then even if one personality is forgotten, there's a chance the other may still have those memories. Cuts my finger and shows you blood. Are you telling me to swap places with her? Permanently, please. No, absolutely not. That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity. Toko, you're the only one we can rely on now. Boy, she just gave in like it was nothing. I'm going to ask you a question. And I want to have it answered immediately. Do you know anything about this video? Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. By the way, also, uh, this is for you, but apparently the woman that voice acts J Jack and also some of Jugo's voices does Chie in Persona 4. I mean, yeah, I know that. I can recognize it by the way she just said, who the hell are you? It's the same thing. It's Chie's. Yep. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. No, I didn't realize it before, but yeah, I can totally see that. Um, I'm the mastermind. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. That's enough. Just look at the stupid screen. Aye, aye, Roger. You got it, Captain. Well. Does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but of course it does! Then you remember all the stuff it's showing? Of course I do! <laughs> so you did lose your memory after I love Jack so much. Then why yeah. didn't you say something earlier? I only answer questions when someone bothers to ask me. I'm the fighting I'm champion. The champion. Oh my god, she's mm -hmm. the worst liar in the world. More importantly, if you really do remember, what is it? A tragedy? Oh no! You seriously forgot? Maybe I can help you remember with a kiss. I mean, I'm sure she'd be really good at Frenching. Yeah. Just answer the question. What Well, I can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening. But it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. <laughs> Why does everyone describe it with those words? What? yourself. Tell us everything you know. Copy that, darling. Okay, so this big, awful, tragic event, they started just calling it the tragedy, happened about a year ago. It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it. I guess you could say what happened was man-made. But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster. Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, 
single most tragic event in human history! And as a result, in basically no time flat! The world turned out the way it did, and that's that. You're not giving us any details. Uh, well, see, funny thing about that, Gabe, you don't get to find out what the tragedy is exactly until you watch the anime, which is the second to last thing in the Danganronpa chronological series. That's stupid, Man. though. She should just tell Man. us. You find out a little bit more about it in the next one. We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. Oh, I couldn't live up to Master's expectations! To die! To die! This is the true tragedy! Okay, okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? The end justifies the mean. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. But how can the world just end? It's... It's the, it's world. the world! Calm down. It's okay. It's the world it's also. World. Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. <laughs> well, as long as we're being ridiculous. I have another ridiculous story to tell you. It's the story of the Tagami Corporation, which has given Byakuya's life all its meaning. What? What did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. So I think your secretary is correct. Wait, wait. So, what do you think happened to the Togami family? What happens if I don't answer? Um, fuck if I know. I probably I lose, know. right? I think so. I probably lose, right? I think so. I don't know. Uh, uh. Well done, peasants. But I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting, I couldn't help it! Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? But, do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? Anyway, like I was head, saying, yes. was entire that. lineage has been totally annihilated. What? What the hell are you talking about? I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes! Stop! And said with such authority! A peasant would dare challenge us? The avatar of divine punishment? You I hate her. Learn your place, peasant! You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny! They, they couldn't possibly be gone! The Togami family is destined to guide the world! Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago! Oh, hold on! That doesn't make any sense! Huh? I don't make sense? There's no way that happened a year ago! I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago! If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? <laughs> Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Mistaken? Well, if I'm understanding you right, it sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently, right? Huh? Two years ago? Well, I mean, you guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. So Hagakuri isn't even 21. His ass is 23. Yep. <clears throat> all right. Wait, what? Two years ago? What is that? <laughs> what the hell is this chick trying to say? I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? 
What are the memories I took from you? From now, answer us. Answer with all your heart and soul. How are we supposed to answer? I... I just don't know what's going on anymore. Still, we have to answer somehow. If we don't, everything ends right here. The memories that were stolen from us. If what Jinko says is true if we came here two years ago, but the rest of us only remembering getting here within the last few weeks or so. So the memories just took from us our life at Hope's Peak. If we accept that what you say is true, then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. No. I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. I'm not 23! Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. Seriously? This routine again? We've lost two years worth of memories? It's amazing that none of us had any significant changes to, real to realize anything was wrong. Like, any changes in our body. Like, imagine if... Uh, Sakura real like started just like primarily training her legs or if Asahina's boobs grew like four different sizes or whatever. What if any of that stuff had happened? This would not have played out correctly. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. That that's not possible! I want to think that too. I don't want to believe it. But there's nothing but her. That's nothing but her desire. I don't want to believe. I want it to be impossible. But if that's the truth, then we have to accept it. Got that wrong. We can't promise you did well. You probably didn't, but you Hero, went. There's something I'd like you to take a look at. I haven't bothered mentioning it to you until now because I like wasting everyone's time. Right here. Huh? I know. Hey, why is my name written on it? I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. Okay, buddy. Wizza, wizza, is something wrong? It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. Uh, this is absolutely my handwriting without a doubt. But how is this? I don't remember ever writing in this thing. No, no way. It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak, but somehow. You forgot all about it. Lies! It's all one big lie! I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. And whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories? <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery's solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here! Shit, man! I've never been to a funeral! Hell yes! Two years of school life. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? 
And on top of that, something tragically sad happened one year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Right before everyone's eyes, the world came crashing down. You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you'd forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourself to this killing game. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. I'm bored. Explaining stuff is boring. What? We are bored of this world. Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do. But then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! What are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair? Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves! I'm sick of expositioning all this shit! Figure out... what? Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. Where memories come apart. Is she talking about the moment where we must have lost our memories? By the way, this is really random, but a cool fact for you, the voice actor Hong Curry is actually in Persona 5. Um, some dude named EY? Wait, he's a Y? Yeah, he's wearing a hat with, like, headphones huh. on it. I don't know. Yeah. When I passed out, I was All the characters he voices are very, sensation. like, dude bro looking. Although, apparently he vo voices Vegeta in Dragon Ball Super. But Super's the one that no one likes, isn't it? Uh, no, that's GT. GT. Super's the new one. Wow! You still have enough spirit to keep on talking, huh? Um, so I don't know much about the details, but it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? And your sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that? I guess it must have been something like that. After I passed out, I woke up in a classroom with my head on a desk. I assume not much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. <laughs> but instead, two whole years had gone by! The reason it felt so short was because... Our memories of the time in between had been completely removed? You got it, honey! Two years of memories? Poof! Gone! Which means, of course... When everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. I don't know if you remember, but Chihiro mentioned to us when we first I met him that, uh... He's like, I feel like I've met you before. Other, but... Yeah. But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? <laughs> yep, that's what they reveal. You were all such close friends. You spent two years together, and then you started killing each other. And it was all so you could escape into a world that's already been annihilated. Sakura didn't do that. No, you know. Um, Chihiro didn't do that. Um, our certain poor unfortunate soul who really was just a good boy and didn't fucking deserve that didn't do that <laughs> what a terribly tragic tale if he's an idiot Even if you left now there's nothing you could do to fix it you're the one who set things up to be like this i love you all so much what once your school life here began i thought about you constantly it's only natural that i would fall in love so, since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all about it! All about the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair! Our plan to bring despair to all mankind! The ultimate despair? All mankind? Let's go back in time, two years, okay? Back to when everyone first came to this school. School life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. Oh boy, it was 
was just the worst. Everyone was enjoying themselves so much. You were all having the time of your lives. But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. If I have to hear that sentence one more time, I might have to kill myself. Or game you will be mad. Soon, the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. Like, just as a solid statement? What? My Siri went off, or my Google Assistant, I don't know why. I didn't say your name. That was weird. Okay. So, like I was saying, um, it is by far way worse than Mukuri Kasaba, the 16th student hidden somewhere in the school. This thing is just popping up everywhere. And it's not day, ending. The school yeah. was no exception. The tragedy even made its way here, leading to the extermination of most of the students. What are you? Hmm? What do you mean? The most tragic event in human history. And the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say it was none of those. How can I put it? It was more of an ideological thing. Despair is contagious, you know. It's almost like a natural phenomenon. Everyone is capable of it. And now the entire world has fallen into despair. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy is the world itself. I just don't understand why. We didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. Okay, so let's get back to the story. Hope's Peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. The members of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy were the only ones left. And then, something super neat happened! Now pay attention, because this is important, and I'm only going to say it once! So guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter! That's right! It was transformed into a shelter! Oh, I said it twice! Now... Someone was responsible for that transformation, for creating what would eventually become your prison. Do any of you know who that might have been? The headmaster. I got it! It could only have been the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us. To protect us? from the despair and tragedy taking place outside. That's why he asked us to make that promise, to say that we were willing to live in this school forever. We believe he had something like that in mind, yes. If you, the collective hope of a new generation, could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah, the headmaster put that much faith in you. And because we had that same hope, that's why we all agree to live here forever. But creating the shelter was also his single biggest mistake. <laughs> it's laughable, really. He was the headmaster, but he had no idea. He had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school! I mean, he had a feeling about one of you. He didn't say anything about you, though. supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe became a cage that made it impossible for you to escape despair! <laughs> I have to say, it really helped me out a lot! It saved me a ton of time! By the way, it was you yourselves who blocked off the windows, the doors, all the exits. Under the headmaster's direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. 
You mean we trapped ourselves in here? And then you forgot all about it and started bitching about how you were trapped in here. Once you'd finished building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work. And thus began the killing game. Me and Mukuro had come here, spending the last two years waiting for that moment. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan. And the only reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be a part of it. Can you let us live? So we could go around killing each other? Is that what you're saying? Why? Pretty fucked up. Why would you do that? Because this was so much more than a simple high school death match. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. What are you saying? Well, it would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. So I thought I should show them, which is why I... <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? What that mastermind did to show everyone in the outside world, that was... Televise. Um. Um. Hijack. Got it. Mm -hmm. Where's the A? Okay. There we go. No, Hijack. Imagine having to think this way every time you need to come up with an answer. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bro, wait till you get to the later That's games. Exactly what I'm talking about. To oh my show God. the world the murders taking place at this school, which was meant to be a symbol of hope. That was the whole point of the ultimate despair. When I said climax, that was what I was talking about. The world watched as you fell into despair and began to kill each other one after another. Despair is as contagious as any disease. Any hope left turns to despair. <laughs> Isn't the power Soccer. of television just amazing? By the way, since we started broadcasting, a whole bunch of people have tried to come and rescue you. Uh, are you serious? But utilizing the heavy weaponry I installed around the school grounds, I had no problem expelling them. Expelled them? I have to thank you all. They were a relentless bunch, refusing to give up on hope and trying to force their beliefs on the world. But in the end, I was able to give them the final despair. Death. So you just used us? To bring despair to everyone in the outside world? Well, sure, but I also gave you a second chance at life, right? So it's like, give and take! Give and take? You're so full of shit! Ooh, Makoto, you've got to put a quarter in the swear jar, honey! And that's the reason I chose you guys to survive when all the other students were dropping like flies! I mean, we built up two years of memories together! You were all my treasured classmates! Sorry, that's a lie. I just figured you'd despair even more when you found out a friend had betrayed you. And that's the truth, which is what you wanted, right? So, does it make you feel utterly lost and hopeless? You solved the mystery, but despair at the truth, right? Don't tell me. Did you seriously count on the possibility that we would solve your mystery? And if we did? Then what? Our final desire for creating this world of despair was so we could experience one last class trial. If you were bold enough to solve the mystery, only to discover that the truth was utterly hopeless, how would you react? What would you do? See? Discovering the truth doesn't necessarily lead to a sense of hope. Truth can be full of despair, too! Like right fucking now! Truth full of despair? That's... All those motives I talked about were totally meaningless. I mean, with the world having ended and all. Meaningless? 
And we we've been murdering each other for nothing? And think about it. You chose to lock yourselves up here, then started murdering each other to get out. We weren't just random strangers either. We were classmates. We'd spent two years together. <laughs> no, even I can't laugh at that. <laughs> J Jack. We get it, okay? You're totally awesome, right? We get it already. So help us. I'll do anything. Just help me. God, you're the worst. Such a travesty firsthand. But I'm sorry to say, begging doesn't work on me. All I want is despair, and there's no reason for it. And since there's no reason, there's no argument against it. There's just no understanding it. No argument, no understanding. What better definition of ultimate despair could there be? Wait, hold on. You've just been going on about whatever you feel like, but... But there's no real reason for us to believe anything you have to say. Huh? You say the world's fallen apart, but I haven't seen it for myself. So I don't acknowledge it. I don't accept it as the truth. Makoto over here just being the hopeful son of a bitch he is. With your own eyes, truth and falsehood overlap one another. In other words, you're not unlike Schrodinger's cat right now. Is that what you're saying? If so, what then? Are you saying you won't accept the truth until you can go outside and see for yourself? Well, you better not. You go out into that world and you're all gunners for sure. Trust me, I'm not lying about any of this. Well, even if it's all true, I refuse to give in. I refuse to lose to you for the sake of everyone you've killed. Huh? Everyone I've killed? What are you talking about? You're the ones who killed them! Actually, none of us killed them. I simply gave you a little nudge in the right You deadass killed Mukuro. Deadass. Yeah. Like, we just proved that. You're nothing but bloodthirsty animals. None of us killed anyone. You killed your sister. You're the, literally the only one guilty That's here. Why anyone was murdered here, peasant. Yaki may have fucked with the dead body, but they were already dead when he found him. Just some game to us. It's murder, plain and simple. You stole our memories, invented reasons for us to do it. You pushed us all into a corner. It's all your fault. You certainly have a talent for passing the buck, don't you? That must be your hope, huh? But we don't have much time left to keep up this banter. We have to draw things to a close soon. What do you mean? I'm talking about the vote, of course. You didn't forget about that little rule, did ya? Oh, and also, since this will be the last vote, I decided to change the rules! What? You guys so full of hope, and me so full of despair! Is it that everyone has to agree or something? to have you vote which one will be punished! If even okay. one of you votes to punish hope, well then... I'll consider that a win for me, and punish everyone on the side of hope! Even if it's just one person? Oh, but don't worry, I won't be voting, of course! Even if you don't, you've still got the upper hand in all this! It's okay, nobody would actually vote to kill themselves, right? Oh, let me just mention one more thing. When I win, to punish you guys, you'll have to stay here till you grow old and die. No fighting, no killing. That's your punishment. You mean, we just... We'd have to just... live here? She's saying she'll let us live! If you're not happy with that, then go ahead and punish me. And make your way to the outside world. Enter a world fallen from grace, where only despair exists, where you'd likely be dead within a day. What are you saying? So no matter what, we're doomed. Wait a sec, I just got hit with an inspiration bomb. Dying of old age is boring as shit, right? The audience at home isn't gonna dig that at all. So here's what'll happen. One of you will get to experience an instant, super impressive punishment! What? You... you can't just...
just... You mean to say, you'll execute one of us? And I get to decide who's gonna have to suck it down! Makoto, you're up! Of course it is. <laughs> yeah, Obviously. Acting up, causing all kinds of trouble. I hate you! It's almost like we're your opposite. Everyone has two choices in front of them. We're a lucky son of a bitch who gets what we need to do. We always try hard, unlike you who just... You had so much talent and you wasted yourself. And you try to waste everyone else with you. If a single person votes for Hope to be punished, then only Makoto will receive a harsh punishment, and the rest of you will live here in peace. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. What I'm saying is, if you sacrifice Makoto, the rest of you will get to live out your lives. Sacrifice me? But that's your resolve softened. Have you lost confidence? Are you afraid of being punished? Don't you have faith in your friends? No, that's not it. It's okay. You're right to be afraid. It would seem all of those around you have realized the futility of going against me. Guys, it's so beautiful. Your lovely faces, eroded by despair, have come together as one. Besides, Yoko, you could never betray your father, could you? What? I mean, the headmaster's only wish was that all of you would survive, right? That's why he tried to trap you all here, after all. The least you can do is try to honor your dead father's wishes. <laughs> Kyoko, one person's despair is enough to seal your fate. Isn't that just the most hopeless outcome ever? So, who do you think's gonna give in? Whose despair is gonna sign your death warrant? No one. Nobody's gonna give in to despair. We're not gonna lose to you. Ooh. So boring. Stubborn till the very end, huh? Well, that's fine. Then let's just hurry up and get it over with. It's time for the final vote. Everything will come to an end. Your stupid hope. And your stupid life. The final vote. This is it, the ultimate confrontation. I have to show everyone. I have to make them remember. I have to convince them not to give up.